course, the second I hit record, I want to change something. Hey everybody, it's Scott Simco Spring Service, and today I want to highlight my U-bolt bender and how it works. I just got an order in for about 104 U-bolt rods bent up, so I just wanted to show you the process and how we bend them all up. And I've actually set up myself a little uh, fabrication station here so I can uh, cut down on how many steps I have to make during the U-bolt bending process. So here's a stack of U-bolt rods. You can see here they're made in Canada, which is kind of cool. And the U-bolt bender, which is a Vic Rock UB302, is also made in Canada. It's made in Montreal, actually. So it's a 30-ton U-bolt bender. So you can see the upper mast here is actually a 30-ton hydraulic cylinder. It's controlled by this valve cluster here, and then that operates all of my other foot pedals and stuff like that. So I actually have it run off of foot pedals right there. So the one foot pedal clamps it, so it operates the hydraulic cylinder that clamps the U-bolt rods down and releases it, and then the other one operates the 30-ton hydraulic cylinder to move the arms up and down. We can also adjust it by spinning these. And it actually dials these in and out and allows us to adjust the size of U-bolt that we want to bend up. So my dad purchased a machine back in 1986 he bought a die set. This is a standard die set, so it goes from one and three quarter inch round all the way up to five inches round. So the square set also goes from one and three quarters all the way up to five inch. And then I do have a whole bunch of specialty dies. So that's a half round, half square. And then we got some international dies and some Ford dies. Over the years, the farmers usually request a whole bunch of weird U-bolts too. So I've made up a whole shelf full of odds and sods of different sorts of uh, other plates that we need on a regular basis. So this video is not sponsored by Vic Rock. I do love their machinery and if you're looking for a U-bolt bender, they are a quality piece of equipment. Um, so, but what I am going to do today is I'm going to show you exactly the bending process. I'm using three inch round dies to go around a three inch diameter axle and it slides onto our uh, part here slides into place and now I can bend my U-bolt rods. It's going to be really hard to see but they actually have a center line that's laser etched into the top of the U-bolt rod and it tells us exactly where dead center is and I also have a little circle on my die here that shows me where dead center is as well. So we're going to stick it in, line it up, we're going to clamp it down and then we have to get these lined up with the rollers so that they are in true to the center of the roller guides. And these are the roller guides. So you have a larger one for half inch and larger, and then I use the smaller one for 7 16 and 3 8 That's what I was trying to line up there. You can see I was lined up to the center of that roller and we're set on the die really well, so we're good to roll it. shooting for around three to three and a sixteenth so these are within tolerance and they're good to go So this particular U-bolt I just bent is actually 2 and 15 sixteenths. So it's just a tiny little bit tight, and it's going to give it a bump on my anvil. So now the U-bolt's at 3 and a sixteenth, so that's perfect. We want it just a tiny little bit over the 3 inch diameter, so I can slide over top of a 3 inch axle. If it's a little tight and you have to hit it on, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, 
That one's good to go. find that whenever I'm bending a U-bolt up, there's always this like apex and a curve that you're trying to shoot for. And I just massage it. Rather than trying to force the bend, I like to just kind of like massage it back up and down as I uh, bend it. So yeah, that's how we get our U-bolts from straight rods to bent. And uh, I find it really cool, fascinating. I've bent probably about 20 or 30,000 U-bolts in the last 10 years, so still find it interesting. But yeah, that's it. That's my machine. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm just gonna bend up the other uh, 100 rods or so and uh, I'll just uh, play a little bit of music while I uh, bend them up. Thank mm -hmm. you.